Okay, today we are going to show you how to set up a new user in Windows 10. We're going to show you two different ways we can do this. But first of all, we have to get to our user accounts. The first way you can get to your user accounts is to come up here where you see your picture, name. Go ahead and click on it until you want to change account settings. As you can see, it goes to settings and then it'll bring up all the info in that. You should be an administrator to be able to do this. You have to have the administrator account. It may say local user or it may say you know that you're signed into your Microsoft account. <clears throat> we want to go down here to where it says family and other people. That's where we're going to add a new user at. So we're going to click on that one and if you're signed into your Microsoft account you will see any family members up here and you can just go ahead and click on them and add them that way but with this one here we're not going to sign in and we are going to pretend like this is not somebody that's a family member somebody else that we want to set up so let's add somebody else and we're going to click on it there and actually before we do that let's go ahead and I said I would show you two ways so let's show you the second way which is almost a little easier you come down here to Cortana and type in or start typing in account you'll see manage your account you can click on it and it's going to take you right back to the same place we just were come down here to family and other people add someone to this PC and it takes just a minute for this to come up if you know their email address or their phone number and they have a Microsoft account, you can put it in here and set it up. Or you can come down here and click where it says this, you don't have this person's information. Click on that. And then it's going to ask you if you want to set up a Microsoft account for them or add user without a Microsoft account. So that's the one we're going to pick today. And user. Uh, let's just call them bpics and if you want to give them a password you'd put it in here if you want it as a no password just hit next and there you see the new one and they are set up as a local account and that they are also if you click on it change account type you will see that they are set up as a standard user. That means that they have limited things they can do. Um, when it comes to installing or anything like that, it would be tough for them to install software programs on this computer. So if it's a child, that would probably be a good one for them. If you want them to have full administrative privileges, you can go ahead and change them to an administrator account, tell it OK. And that. So now that we've set up this new account, if you want to know how to switch accounts, go up here, click on the name, and you will now see the new account there. So you can go ahead and click on that. And when it first comes up, it is going to start setting up everything for this new account, just like it did when you were there. It comes to sign in. Of course, we didn't give it a password, so we can just hit enter. <coughs> And you'll get your normal screen and it should say setting things up for you here in a minute. And just like it was when you first got your computer, if you had to go through this when you got it, it's going to do everything to set up a new desktop for the new user you made. And like it says, it might take several minutes. You don't want to turn off your PC because you can actually mess up the settings for this user. And that. So <clears throat> we will go ahead and let it go through this. And then we're going to show you how to remove a user. And I think right now I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and we will come back to it as soon as it's done that way it doesn't you don't have to sit and go through all this 
Okay, now that it has set everything up for us, we come up here and it's, you know, got everything just like you were a brand new user. And you can see there's a brand new desktop. You can adjust the desktop as you want. As you can see, there's not as many browsers here. You'd have to add the other browser. It puts Edge. But you have to go and find Chrome and put Chrome down here, which is easily done. You can just, uh, let's do it this way here. We can go over here to your list. There's Google Chrome. Right click it. And you can tell it to pin it to the taskbar. And there's Google Chrome down there in your taskbar. So that is how you would add things for the new user down here in your taskbar. You can also tell it to pin it to the desktop. You can tell it to pin it to your start menu. And that setting up your new user. So you just have to kind of decide where you want it and how you want your new user set up. Now if you're wanting to remove a user, and that same thing, we're going to start typing in account, and I came up with AccuWeather instead, and there you go, manage accounts, we're going to go here and actually, let's do this over because I want to switch users. And we want to sign back in with our main account user. Takes us just a minute. No password, on, so we hit enter, and there we are signed in. So now let's go to our accounts again. Type in account. Actually, there we go. Manage our accounts. Account info, manage account. That'll get you all the same places. So there we go. And there we see the account that we created. So now if we're wanting to remove that, if we right click, let's see, click on it. You go ahead and click on it. And right there you will see remove. Go ahead and click on that one. Uh, cannot delete account. Uh, need to sign that person out. So we're going to have to go back and sign this person out. And so signed in. So we will again switch users and we are going to do that. And sign a person out click on their icon right there say signed out and they will now sign out and it'll bring you up to a login screen where you can pick which user you want to log in as <clears throat> and to pick our main account, sign in, go down here to manage accounts. other people click on the B pits that we just created tell to remove comes up tells you it's a local account and it's going to ask you what you want to do we're going to delete account and data that way we remove everything from this person It takes a few minutes for it to go through and delete all the files and everything for that person and there you see that that person is now gone 
And you can also double check that they are gone here if we sign out. We should only have one person there to sign back in. Take just a second here. Enter. And as you see, that's the only user we have left. You don't have the choice of two down here. So that is how you create and how you remove a user in Windows 10.